I'm Nasser Hussain, and for the first time in my hands, I have an Intel bat sensor. I always used to use a Grey Nichols bat, but I never ever used an Intel bat sensor, and I think it's been a wonderful addition to the game, really. Okay, I'm just going to try and show you how to put this thing on. First of all, many batsmen done this all the time. They just roll the grip down. That's an easy bit. Everyone does that. And all you have to do is just put this thing, you have to try and just stretch it and put it on like that. And then, again, batsmen are fairly accomplished at doing this sort of thing because they're doing it all the time. They're putting tape on their bat handles, etc. You just keep pulling it down, come down this side, pull it down, give it a bit of tap without breaking the sensor. They're probably worth a few quid, so don't break it. Roll your bat handle up, put the sensor in, and there it goes. Perfect. Batsmen like me were very, very fussy about what went into their bats and in the handle. Does it affect the weight of the bat? Not at all. Does it affect in how you hold the bat? Not at all, because you never hold the bat where it actually is. You actually hold it slightly lower. If anything, actually, it gives you a little bit of a counterbalance. You see modern cricketers put a bit of tape around the top of their bat to give them a bit of cut counterbalance so that your, bat, your hands fit in nice and snugly there. That's already done with this little bit of technology. It's a bit of technology there that basically picks up various things on the bat. So for example, bat angle. Someone like Hashim Amla with his big twirly bat that he has at the top there, a little bit like the Jim Fury golf swing, he will have a big bat angle. Someone like MS Dhoni when, he, Dhoni, when he goes to play the helicopter shot, he is going to have a big bat angle. Maybe someone slightly lower to the ground. Who am I thinking? Uh, some of the England batsmen maybe start a little bit lower. Jason Roy, people like that, have a lower bat angle. The other thing it picks up is bat speed. The amount of times we have done master classes talking to Virat Kohli or um, A.B. de Villiers about bat speed, what does that actually mean? It's all well and good saying, well, you've got fast hands, but how do you measure that bat speed? So someone like me, a boring batsman, used to have very low bat speed. That's why the ball didn't go anywhere. But some of these guys, if you think Kohli, Kohli, when he plays the seamer, actually plays with firm wrists and doesn't create much bat speed. But when Kohli plays against the spinners, Kohli really generates a lot of wrist and bat speed through the ball. So what we've been able to do is actually quantify that. So maybe with Kohli against the seamers, his bat speed is good. Kohli against the spinners, his bat speed is absolutely phenomenal. But it's not just bat speed. You could have the most brilliant bat speed, but if it doesn't get there in the right time, then the ball doesn't go very well. So you also need the timing of the bat speed, and this sensor picks up exactly when the timing is, and hence how far the ball will go, how much impact it has on that cricket ball. So from this little bit of technology in the bat, we are picking up a whole different um, bits of information about how good batsmen are and how well they hit a cricket ball.